hello students welcome to my channel let's solve this problem in we are given that determine the force in member ee of the loaded truss right so we are required to find the load the force in this member ee right so we will solve this by using the method of sections right so we need to pass a cutting section uh, through this ee member right so let's say that that this is my cutting section right so then this cutting section is passing through a b a e and e f right so we will draw the free body diagram of this side of the truss right so this is the right hand side so we will consider the right hand side of this given truss right so now uh, if i pass a cutting section so we will be left with so we will be left with this free body diagram right now we will imagine we will assume that all the forces are ten, uh, tension forces right so let's say that this is our a b force right so this will be a b member force let's say this is a e member force and this one is let's say e f member force right so now as we can see that while considering this side of the given truss this ab is unknown a e is unknown and ef is unknown and we are required to find this ae right so we will identify uh, such a point so that we are able to uh, to eliminate ab and ef from our calculation and we will we will find a moment about such a particular point that we are only left with this ae member force right since we want to find only this ae member right so now if i if i extend the this bc member if i if i extend this member right and then if i extend this ed member right so they will intersect somewhere right so this is the intersection point right so now as we can see that if we consider this this point let's say that this point this intersection point is g so now as we can see that this ef is passing through that point g and this ab is passing through that point g so now if we find the summation of moment about point g equals to 0 so then as we can see that this ab is not producing the moment about that point g since it's passing through that point g and this ef is passing through that point g the line of action of both of these forces are passing through that point g so they are not producing the moment about that point g so only this AE is producing the clockwise moment about that point G and this 2.4 kN and this 3.2 kN forces are producing the moment about that point G, right? So both of these, these are given forces and this is the unknown force. So when we find the moment about this point G, so we are only left with this AE member, right? So now if I apply the summation of moment about point G and let's say that the counterclockwise moment is positive right so now as we can see that this ae is producing the clockwise moment about that point g let's say this angle is theta right so this ae member is making theta angle with the horizontal if i draw a horizontal line here right so if this angle is theta then this angle is also theta right so this ae member force will have two components right it will have one component in this direction right it will have one component like this and then it will have one component in this direction right so now if you want to find the summation of moment about point g so both of these components are producing the moment about that point g right so this one is the cos component we can write that this is a e cos of theta and this one is a e sine of theta right and this theta is unknown yet we will find this theta right but first i will write the summation of moment about g equation right so now as we can see that this sine component is producing the clockwise moment about that point g so i will write minus a e sine of theta and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point g is this b g distance right so i will write b g this is the moment arm right Similarly, this cos component is also producing the clockwise moment about that point G. So we will write minus and this is A E cos of theta and the perpendicular distance of this cos component from this point G 
is this distance this be member length right or we can say that this distance right if i draw a line here right so this is the perpendicular distance of this ae cos of theta which is eb right so i will write eb or be right and then this 2.4 kilonewton force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point g so i will write plus and this will be 2.4 and the perpendicular distance is this bg right so i will write again bg and similarly again i will write plus and this 3.2 kilonewton force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point g so i will write plus and this is 3.2 into this gc or cg right so i will write cg and this is equal to 0 so now we need to find this eb member length this gc length right so once we find this eb and this gc and we have to find this theta so once we find this eb this ab length is given which is 2 meters right this ab length was given this is 2 meters right and once we find this eb we will be able to find this theta right and then we need to find this gc now to find this gc length we will apply the properties of similar triangles right so now if we consider uh, this gcd triangle right so let me write the we will consider gcd triangle and we will consider gaf triangle right gaf triangle both of these triangles are similar triangles right so now we will apply the properties of similar triangles so we will take the ratios of their corresponding sides right so gc we will write gc which is unknown gc length divided by this cd length which is one meters this will be equal to this ag length right so i will write ag divided by this corresponding side which is two meters so we will write two right or we can write that 2 gc is equal to ag and we can write that ag is equal to this uh, ac length we can write that ag is further equal to ac plus gc right and as we can see that ac is 2 plus 2 meters right so we can write that this is 4 meters right so this means that 2 gc is equal to 4 plus gc right so we can write that 2 gc minus this gc is equal to 4 so this means that gc length is equal to 4 meters right so now we know this gc length this is 4 meters right now to find this be length we will consider uh, g be triangle and gcd triangle right so we can write that eb or be be divided by this bg length right so bg length is 4 plus 2 this is 6 so i will write 6 and this will be equal to cd so cd is 1 so i can write directly 1 1 divided by gc so which is 4 so this is 4 so be is equal to 6 divided by 4 so this means that be member length is 1.5 meters so now we know this be member length right so let me remove these components right so this is 1.5 meters right so now we can find this theta if we use this ABE triangle, right? So let me write that if we apply 10 theta to this ABE triangle. So theta will be equal to 10 inverse. This perpendicular is 1.5 divided by base, which is AB, which is 2 meters, right? So from this, theta is equal to... 36.87 degrees so this means that this ae member force is making 36.87 degrees with the horizontal right so this angle is 
36.87 right so now we know everything in this equation right so we can substitute all of all of those variables right so we can write that this is minus a e sine of 36.87 and b g length is 4 plus 2 so this is 6 minus a e cos of 36.87 b e length so b e length is 1.5 so we will multiply this with 1.5 plus 2.4 bg length is again 6 plus 3.2 and cg length is 4 so this will be equal to 0 now if we take ae minus ae common from this so 6 sine of 36.87 is 3.6 and 1.5 cos of 36.87 is 1.20 and the summation of both of these is 27.2 and the other of side of equation this will become minus right so we can write minus will cancel out and a e will be equal to 27.2 divided by 4.8 the summation of this is 4.8 so a e member force is equal to 5.67 kilonewton right and since this is positive so this means that the assumed direction is accurate right so this means that this ae is acting away from this joint e so this means that this is the tension force right so this is the solution of this particular problem